From Hollywood to the world, you're watching Fox Friday. Really, Magnolia? You know, I've got a whole bag full of absolutely perfect tomatoes set aside for you. I'm sorry, Danny. I thought maybe you'd be so what? I'd forget. Let me get it for you. Thank you. No. Thank you. I won $50 on the lottery number you gave me. Don't tell anybody. I only do that for special friends. Adam, I'm looking for Magnolia. She's not here. Would it be okay with you if I, I wait? Might be a while. She's out of town. You know where she went? Upstate. Look, if you're here for a reading, you're out of luck. She doesn't do that anymore. <sighs> not here for a reading. Darn shame if you ask me. She's good. She's better than good. You know, the police, the FBI, they call her all the time. She predicted that 737 crash last year, though. She didn't want anybody to know about it. Upstate? You know where upstate? Someplace called Sparta. She phoned me from the bus station, asked me to watch the babies. I live next door. I'd offer you something to drink, but the truth is, the only thing Magnolia keeps in the refrigerator are tomatoes. <sighs> well, thanks anyway. I'm gonna go see if I can catch up with her. Bye. I wish they'd stop running that New York City bus. Ma'am? Uh, Ma'am, you're gonna have to come down from there. Can't. Can't. It's the only place I can see it from. See what, ma'am? What's coming? Ma'am, 
you got to come down from there. We have to run like the wind, faster than the wind. There's not much time left. Flip four. Heads. Well, get a move on. No, please. Please don't. I have to see it. See where it comes from. I can't let it happen. They're coming. They're coming and we're all going to die. Camptonae, Abias Abias, Penelus, Dryopterus, Polypodium glycerza, and Aloe variegata. English. Ferns, fir tree, mushroom, wildflowers, and aloe. And? There does seem to be one other substance, but the gas chromatograph couldn't identify it when preparing additional tests. Do you know how long the liquid was exposed to the open air? It was at least an hour after McCarthy disappeared, before my man found his little fire pit. That timing would match the lab reports from the bonfire ashes. Any identity on that? body that was burned? Not enough left to even pull dentals. And no matches with missing persons yet. Colonel, it is possible that an airborne contaminant affected this mixture. Nothing to do with Nick Arthur's an accident. Literal circle, fire, cremated body. This. Colonel? Do you need to sit down? No, I, I need to know what this is. What it does. McCarthy keeps coming back from the dead. I want to know if this is how he does it. A magic potion? No, not magic. Sir? Extraterrestrial. What kind of shrink looks at your pupils? My kind. Now your hands, please. Oh, no, I don't like to be touched. Really? No, I don't have to touch. You can just show me. I have visions. That's why, that's why I wear gloves. What do you see? You know, all sorts of things, you name it. Good things? Sometimes. Bad things? I wouldn't wear gloves if it was good things more than bad things, now would I? But that isn't the world we live in, is it, Doctor? At least not my world. I'll tell you a secret. My grandmother had the same thing. She used to say, I just had a visit. Or, um, a visiting. Really? Every time she saw something. Mostly simple things, though. Someone's about to call, and sure enough, the phone would ring. But it was spooky how many times she was right on the money. Did she wear gloves? No. Oh, she was lucky. Maybe she was. Of course she was. Didn't completely screw up her life. She had a family and children. She was very lucky. I guess you're right. few more working hours before I can do that. No, go home now. There's been a fire. You have a daughter named Hannah. She has a lot of stuffed animals. <sighs> That's very good. I do have a daughter, as a matter of fact. And, uh, yes, like most kids her age, she has quite a collection of Her stuff. favorite is a giraffe named Joshua. 
Doctor, your wife is on the phone. It's an emergency. Hello? Slow down, slow down. Oh my God. Is Hannah okay? Please, Lizzie, slowly. Yes, yes, of course, I'll be right there. Just make sure you ask for Dr. Hilger. Yes, Hilger. It's going to be okay, Lizzie. It's important you stay calm for Hannah's sake, all right? I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. Bye. Your daughter will be fine. How did you know? I told you. Just be grateful it isn't anything worse. At least not yet. Come on through. Damn. Anybody here interested in stealing a slightly used rental? All right. Here you go, lady. Don't run up the mileage. All right, I'm looking for the local loony bin. Anybody know where that is? Anybody? Take care. You, oh. you don't worry. You don't have to worry. Magnolia Vale. So I'm looking for Magnolia Vale. She's down that way, isn't she? your help. I don't need anybody's help. Yes, you do. Why are you so scared? Because I know what's going to happen. Oh, what's going to happen? Nurse! What do you see? Nurse! Help! Plague. Okay. Come with me. Let me help you. It's too late. The plague is coming and I don't know how to stop it. I, uh, I always loved this show as a kid. Tim, it's Magnolia. Hang on, I'm coming. Help! Help! Get away! Take Help it easy, me. Magnolia. Get away! Get away! Grab Get away from me. me. Just Get calm away. down. Get away from me! Get away from me! 
I got a sedative. Jack, what are you doing? It's Just gonna be okay. Hold still. Don't go. 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 Don
You're part of it now. The cats absorb energy. Same reason I live in New York. So many people, so much mental energy, the psychic signals just cancel each other out. So you got some peace and quiet. Yeah, smack dab in the middle of the city. Ah, it was such a relief until the vision started. What visions? Well, the ones that brought me here. Started about two weeks ago, flashes at first. Then they came more often, like nothing I'd ever seen before, more intense. Something bad is gonna happen to Adam, and it's gonna happen soon. I hoped it would stop, but it only got worse. And now you're a part of it, too. I need some tomatoes. You sure she said the gladiator? Mr. Faulkner will meet you at the gladiator. That's what she said. As an employee of the Tavler, we know she cannot tell a lie. Here it is. Yes. Mr. Faulkner. Special Agent Wilcox. These are Special Agents LaRue and Van Patten. I'd like to talk to you about a picture you took. Yeah. I'm a professional. My time costs. Tell us about the man in the photo. Well, what about him? What was he doing there with Magnolia? Says they were friends. What do I know? Thought you were a reporter. Yeah, he's not the story. She is. Have you seen him since you took the photo? No. And now the reporter in me would like to know why. Well, if you do see him, you contact us. Absolutely. I'll put you on the installment plan. I need to ask you a couple of questions. Let's skip the questions. Go straight to the answers, okay, Doc? Sorry, Colonel. The universe has rules. I can't change that. Colonel... Your gunshot wounds are not healing appropriately. And? And I don't know why. Are you sleeping? Mm, much I need to. Appetite? I eat. Job stress? Are you kidding me, doctor? Over here. I got your blood panel back. Your white count is elevated. Is it warm in here? I, uh, run a little hot. 102 is not a little hot. I'll take a couple aspirins, call you in the morning. You having dizzy spells? Any lightheadedness? No. Hold out your hand for me. That's ridiculous. Oh, come on, Colonel. Humor and old broad. I think you better clear your schedule. I can't do that. Sorry, Colonel. That's not a request. That's an order. The things I see, my visions, are all very confusing. So, in my life, it is better if everything is all lined up, organized, simple. We well, have a remarkable gift. A gift? <laughs> You are a minority of one, my friend. I have been diagnosed, examined, therapied, and no one in all that time has ever called it a gift. And that's what it is. You know, Native Americans considered psychics to be emissaries of the gods. Hmm. And look what happened to the Native Americans. I'm sorry, but a gift it is not. But you help people. You think giving a friend the lottery number is going to help them feel okay when the plague comes? The plague doesn't have to come. Everything always happened the way I saw it. I don't know what 
to do. Hmm. What is it? What does the FBI have to do with any of this? for this man. Have you seen him? Not recently, no. Perhaps you'd like to use your psychic powers to help us out. probably within spitting distance. And he'll turn up somewhere else tomorrow. I mean, is it worth risking your life for? This, this is ridiculous. Doug, she said I kill you. She's a fruitcake. This fruitcake cracked the Thomas kidnapping. Do you remember I told you back when I was in the San Francisco office? I got a six-year-old that's less gullible than you are. Her predictions come true. So you can picture yourself killing me, huh? Absolutely. But that's not the point. The point is, we're not going to leave a case just because something's got you spooked, Craig. Come on, we got a job to do. Where'd she go? understand why this is upsetting me the only way to make the vision stop is to know what it means then you'll be free which means everybody dies so you're right strictly speaking that would mean i'm free what you see isn't set in stone right until it happens what you see is only one possibility one among many and an infinite number of possible futures. That has not been my experience, friend. It has. You've just chosen not to act on it before. You get to choose. Do I change the future or don't I? Embrace your dominion, Magnolia. It's time.
What do you see? Creatures from space bringing a bullet. How do you know they're from space? They're silver. Big eyes, fine mask. Silver skin? No. Like astronauts. Only not. Look carefully. Tell me what you see. What kind of research you do here? Come back in the morning, and the PR department will be happy to talk to you. <sighs> Look, is there anything hazardous here in the lab? Any anything highly contagious? This is a private facility. You and your friend have to leave now. Listen, Mister, I think there's going to be a terrible accident here tonight. Nothing's happening tonight. If a cockroach passes gas in this building, I'll know it first. But to show you my heart's in the right place, I am calling someone for you. The police. I was wrong. You're not wrong. You saw it.
late. No, we're not. We can't stop this. Yes, we can. It's going to happen. It's like an unbreakable chain. We can change what you've seen. We can change the future. It's up to us. Come on, it's time. You either believe or you don't. Who called the honor guard? Yeah, it ain't no honor guard. I'm telling you, boss, we should sit this one out. Forget it. Well, then maybe I should just stay in the car. What is with you? Fine, fine. Go ahead. Stay in the car. Fine. FBI. This man on the premises? He's the least of our worries. Where is he? How do I get there? Forget it. The computer is sealing off that part of the building. That wasn't a request. Through, get the back. Okay, guys. Like you were never sick. I'm back in uniform. I like it that way. What did you do, Colonel? I did what was necessary. Well, if you found a miracle cure, I'd sure like to hear about it. There are no miracles, Doctor. Only choices. Life and death, good and evil. I pray you never have to make the choices I have. Willie's just thinking about it. Yes, sir. A virulent psychoactive agent was stored in there that would feed it to the brain and then study the effects. Mm. Apparently, it makes you lose your mind going to a full bore rage. That's what killed that reporter. If it had gotten out, it could have wiped out half the county. So she was right. Magnolia? I mean, come on, Doug, you have to admit it. If you had shot through that door, I might have killed you. <laughs> MacArthur saved our lives. 
And once again, like a puff of smoke. What was he doing here? All I can say is nothing was taken out of the lab, so whatever his plan was, ain't a threat to anybody now. You were wrong, Adam. You can't change the future. Because the future doesn't exist unless we make it, and you can't change something that doesn't exist. You just crossed the threshold. Welcome. Thank you. Your son is alive. Sunday, look who's joining the carnival. You gonna get drunk and start a lot of trouble? Sure, anything you want. On a brand new Simpsons. Then, Troy Aikman joins the Super Bowl bash. Blumhauer's dip was so thick, our chips were snapping like Joe Theismann's leg. On a brand new King of the Hill. And a series of unexplained deaths. I came out of his stomach. Lead to a terrifying revelation. <laughs> the X-Files, an all-new episode. It all starts Sunday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Now. Golden Globe nominee for Best Actor, Lance Hendrickson in Millennium.